Okay, so I've already received a question regarding my video on dividing with exponents. And so what I'm going to do is create uh, another short video that will show the four different types of division problems you'll see when you're dividing with exponents with the same base, that is. So in other words, here we have, um, we're, we're going to use base 2. I mean, the base is going to be 2 in all these cases. Um, but here we have a positive exponent in the numerator and a positive exponent in the denominator. Next, we've got a negative exponent in the numerator and a positive in the denominator. Now we have the reverse. We have a positive exponent in the numerator and a negative exponent in the denominator. And then lastly, I put um, both negative um, exponents for a numerator and denominator. So I'm just just work through each of these four problems, which are all very similar except for that sign is changing with the exponent in each case, and um, and just show you how you would solve each one just to make sure we're crystal clear on the pattern that we can use or the little trick we can use when we're dividing with exponents. So let's start with the first one. Um, again, let's start with a long way just so we can make sure that we get an answer, um, get the correct answer. We can do it the short way. So the long way would be literally writing out all the twos and we're going to be multiplying. So 2 to the third power is equal to 2 times 2 times 2. And 2 to the second power is equal to 2 times 2. And now that we see this written out as a fraction with all those twos there, we can start canceling out all the twos. And we see that our final answer is going to be 2. Or it could be 2 to the, one, the first power, which you can barely see that. All right, now if we do it using the trick or the short way, we could just simply take these two exponents and subtract them. And that will tell me how many twos in the end we're actually going to multiply. So this would be 2 to the 3 minus 2 power, if that makes any sense. And then when we solve that, we get 2 to the first power, which is the same thing as that. Okay, so that was the easiest example. Well, let's go on to ones where we have some negative exponents. So now we've got 2 to the negative third power and 2 to the second power. Now, 2 to the negative third power is equal to 1 over 2 to the third power. Okay, and the reason why this exponent became positive is because Basically, if you just think of it in terms of the trick, we moved it down into the denominator, and when it gets moved down, that negative sign goes away and becomes a positive exponent. Um, do not get mixed up. This is a common mistake. Do not get mixed up with this negative exponent, meaning that we're going to have a negative value in the end, some sort of a negative answer. In other words, some people think that this base is now beginning to become negative. That's not what becomes negative, and that's not what negative means. It doesn't mean we have a negative value number, of like a number that's less than zero. What it means is we're going to have a number, when we have 2 to a negative exponent, we're going to have some, our answer is going to be some number between 0 and 1. It's less than 1 because it's going to go into the denominator when we um, end up moving the number around. So 2 to the negative third power is the same thing as 1 over 2 to the third power. And then right now we have 2 to the second power in the denominator already, so we just keep it there. We don't do anything to it. That sign doesn't change because we're not moving that value or that number around at all. So it just stays there. So now I can see that what I have is 2 to the third times 2 to the second power. Now when I use that trick that we use when we multiply exponents with the same base, um, we can just simply add these two exponents and we'll have 2 to the 3 plus 2. That tells me how many 2's I'm going to end up multiplying, which is the same thing as 1 over 2 to the 5th power. Okay, now let's go to this next one. Okay, make sure we can see it in the video. Alright, so now we have 2 to the 3rd power, and again, 2 to the 3rd power is going to Stay the same. And you know what? I just realized I didn't go back. <laughs> we solved this the long way, but on this problem we didn't solve it the short way. So let's do the short way. The short way with division is just simply subtracting the exponents. So we have 2 to the negative third power divided by 2 to the second power. Um, we're going to subtract the negative 3 minus 2 
and keep the base the same. And that will tell me in the end how many 2s I'm going to end up multiplying. So first I'm going to write my 2. My answer is going to be that base, the same base. And then to figure out what final exponent I'm going to have, I'm just going to subtract the two exponents that I have, starting in the numerator and then subtracting in the denominator. So negative 3 minus 2. And that equals, when we subtract negative, or when we subtract 2 from negative 3, we end up with 2 to the negative 5. And 2 to the negative 5 is the same thing as 1 over 2 to the fifth power. So we did get the same answer again. That's what I meant to do is prove we get the same answer both ways. Okay, so now let's go back to the third problem. So we have, we're going to solve this a long way first. We have 2 to the third power. That's going to stay the same. I'm not, basically my goal is to get rid of these negative exponents first. Um, and that's kind of what I'm doing when I'm doing it the, the, the long way. I want to, don't really need to touch the 2 to the third power because that's a positive exponent. But in the, new, or in the denominator here, I've got a negative exponent. I want to move that up. I want to move that in a way where the negative exponent goes away and becomes a positive. And, and basically the same thing that happens with a uh, exponent that's in the numerator that's negative, when it gets moved to the denominator it becomes positive. The same thing's going to happen um, in reverse. If I have a negative exponent in the denominator and I want to get rid of that negative exponent, I need to move it up, but then make it positive. Okay, and then when I use my little trick with multiplying um, exponents with same base, I'm just going to add the exponents. I get 2 to the 5th power, and that's my final answer. Now, what I call a short way is just simply taking the base, which is 2 here in both cases, and now just subtracting the exponents, 3 minus uh, minus 2 and what that equals is 2 to the 5th power. And again, it's the same thing. Now, the funny thing is I'm calling this the long way, but it's not exactly <laughs> that much longer than doing it this way. So really, it just doesn't matter in the end um, how you do it, just as long as it, you do it in the way you're most comfortable with, in the way it makes sense. Um, and I didn't exactly, in this long way, write out all the twos. That's something I could have done as well. But um, after, if you've seen the other videos that follow up to this one, then I don't need to write those out anymore. You're probably pretty clear on that. Okay, so now on the last problem, now we've got a negative exponent in both the numerator and the denominator. Okay, so um, one way to do it, which I've been calling the long way, <laughs> is to move these numbers, the bases, in their opposite spots um, in the fraction. Um, so that way we can get rid of the negative exponents. So one way to do that is if I have 2 to the negative third power in the numerator, I can move that 2 down into the denominator but change the exponent to a positive 3 rather than a negative 3. So it's just opposite sign. And then in the, in the denominator I already have 2 to the negative 2 but I don't want a negative exponent just because it's easier to work with positive exponents. I can move it up. And when I move it up to the numerator, again, that exponent changes to a positive. It's still the same number, but it just becomes positive rather than negative. And when I see that, now I can, if I want to, I can write out all my twos. And when I see all the twos written out, I see what I'm canceling out. And I'm left with 1 over 2. Now, if I do this the short way, so to speak, or let's say using the trick of subtracting the exponents, again, I have the same base. So I'm just going to write that base, which is a 2, and then all I have to do to figure out what exponent is there in the end, I just need to subtract the exponents. And notice I'm doing negative 3 minus negative 2. I'm not dropping one of those negative signs. I have to be very careful. I'm subtracting this exponent from that exponent. So I do have two, basically two negative signs next to each other. Now when I do negative 3 minus a uh, minus 2, I get 2 to the negative 1. And 2 to the negative 1, as we know, is the same thing as moving this 2 down into the numerator or denominator and changing the exponent to a positive exponent rather than a negative. 
and I'm left with 1 over 2, which is the same thing as that right there.